Alright guys, so just now I decided to make a video on how to make Daryl Dixon's wings and I already had planned to make this video but I drew it and totally forgot about the video. But anyway, I'm not too far ahead. Here's the tutorial. And all I've done so far is I drew on the wings with a pencil and then I drew over the pencil with a marker, a fabric marker. And yeah, um, for the materials, I would recommend using some old pants because that's like really thick and the material I'm using right now is regular fabric that you find in fabric stores. So yeah, it's pretty thin. I would recommend using actual denim, like those that denim that they use in pants because it's way thicker and way better. But yeah, I don't have some old pants laying around so I'm going to be using some regular fabric. But um, yeah, anyway, uh, all I did so far was I just drew it on with a pencil and it's pretty hard to find a good picture of Daryl Dixon's vest his wings because there's no good picture out there there's like no actual like 100% accurate templates of his wings so what you have to do is you have to kind of find some good pictures of his wings yourself just some screenshots from the TV show and just try to copy it and this is what I came up with for this one maybe you could copy my design I don't care but um yeah this is just the design I came up with and yeah, I mean, obviously I didn't just come up with this design. I tried my best to actually copy it, but you know what I mean. But anyway, um, yeah, so, so far all I did is I used um, some fabric markers. These fabric markers you can get at Walmart. Um, it comes with two. And here I have a regular marker. Um, they have to be permanent too. And these are some other fabric markers I bought at eBay. So um, yeah, and you do not want to use a Sharpie. Because Sharpies are like purple, they're not black. If you like actually draw with the Sharpie, you're going to notice that it's going to be a bit purple. And it's not going to look good with the wings because if you ever wear them, and if you go out in the sun, the whole wings are going to look purple. So that's why I don't use Sharpie. I just use actual like permanent markers that, I don't know, I just use fabric markers. That's what I would recommend using. But um, yeah, because fabric markers are machine washable. I haven't really tried it, but that's what they say. But um, yeah, so what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to um, try to put a bit of shading underneath each wing. And right now, I'm not going to go too crazy because once I paint the wings, the whole design is pretty much going to fade out and I'm going to have to repaint it again. So I'm just going to do a little bit to it.
right guys so that's what i got so far i'm not gonna go too crazy just yet because as i said before i'm gonna be painting these wings and once you paint them the design is gonna fade away kind of so you are gonna have to like repaint it reshade it i mean redraw them and yeah so i'm not gonna go too crazy yet and now it's time to paint them all right guys so here i have some acrylic paints from walmart i'm gonna be using brown and green for now and these are the colors I use the most. This is black, yellow, and white. And um, anyway, I'm going to be making just the normal color I always choose. A bit, it's kind of brownish with green. And the reason I never choose one solid color is because if you actually mix paints around, it makes it look a bit more natural. Like it makes it look like the wings naturally went into that color. And if you choose one solid color, then it's going to not look as natural. But yeah all right guys so here i got some dark greenish color i actually ended up mixing some yellow and some black and you don't want to use a lot of black because black is very strong and it will change the color like a lot and yes and i just added a bit of water and now what you want to do what i did is i just put my wings on a board so i won't mess up anything else and yeah just go over it Alright guys, so I just got done putting on the first layer of paint, and I'm not done yet. Like, I usually put about seven layers of paint, so I'm gonna have to wait for it to dry again and keep on painting it. But I think I might change up the color a little bit before it's too late. I might make it a bit more greenish and a bit less brown. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna be mixing more paints up, and yeah, I'll be back once I'm done. Alright guys, so this is how it looks so far. I'm still not sure if I like the color. Um, I still need to let it dry 100% so I can see how the color actually looks like because right now it's pretty dark. Um, I mean, it's kind of dry, but it's still not 100% dry. That's why it looks dark. But um, yeah, once I find out how the color looks like, I'm going to see if I like it, if I'm going to change it up, and then I'm going to redraw it. And right now, in the meantime, while we're waiting, I'm just going to cut them out and let it dry, and then I'll get back to you guys. Alright guys, so it's kind of hard to actually pick up the actual color on camera. In the camera, it just looks pitch green, but it actually is pretty brown in real life. But um, yeah, so right now it still is a bit wet. That's why you can't really see the design too much. But once it dries off completely, you should be able to see the design again. But not completely, like as it was before. But you should still be able to see the design. But um, yeah, so all that's left to do is to wait for it to dry. And then just draw the design again, and then I should be done. Alright guys, so it is now nighttime because this thing finally dried. But, um, yo, the camera does not, like, adjust to the actual color. Like, right now, this, these are, like, literally brown. And, like, it still looks green on here for some reason. But, yeah, so as you can see, the design is back a little bit. You can't really, like, see it completely, obviously. But, um, yeah, it is good enough for me to, like, know where to draw it again. And yeah, so now I'm going to keep on drawing it. I'm going to redraw everything, reshade everything. And yeah, um, you might be asking yourself, like, why not just color them first and then draw it? Well, me, like, I'm a perfectionist and I just, like, want to make sure that everything is to, like, everything's the same as how it was before. So I don't know. But good question, even though you didn't really ask it. But yeah, <laughs> time to draw it again.
All right, guys, so the lighting is going to be a bit different because I just have light bulbs everywhere. So it's not going to be like 100% accurate, the color you're seeing. But what I did for the last part, all I did was I got an old rag and I put my finger like this. And I just wiped it with a marker and started scrubbing it underneath each feather. And that's all I did. And yeah, so right now it's dark time. Um, it's like 10 o'clock at night. So I'm going to continue this video tomorrow. All right, guys, so I haven't really done anything since the last clip you just saw. All that I've done pretty much is I got myself a marker that was starting to dry out. And I lightly drew these lines right there. Um, what I just do is I just usually start underneath each feather. And just draw some lines. And I don't know, you just pretty much, it's pretty much all I did. I just drew lines um, up here too. Just so it could look a bit more featherish and not just flat. But um, a bit more 3D-ish. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Also something else that I did was I drew like a black line on the border of the wings. That's like also optional. But yeah, it's something else that I did just so they could pop out a bit more. And yeah, right now if I put these wings up to my vest, these wings are going to look very bright. And I don't want it to look very bright because I don't know. But I just don't like my wings looking very bright. And I'll show you in a bit what I mean. But I'm going to show you how to darken the wings a little bit too. So yeah. Alright guys, so I just laid them on top. I don't really care. But right off the bat, you can see how bright they are. And this is my vest that I have on right now. Like, you can see that the wings aren't that bright. So, I'm going to show you how to fix that. Alright guys, so I put my wings on a board that doesn't really matter. And what you want to do is you want to spray paint the wings. But you don't want to, like, spray paint it totally, obviously. But you want to spray paint it from far away. And, let's see. You also don't just want to spray paint one spot. You want to, like, spray paint everything evenly. And I'll come back when I'm done. Alright guys, so as you can see, it isn't like pitch black. I just spray painted a little bit from far away. And yeah, I'm going to put it on my vest just to make sure how it looks. Alright guys, so that's how it looks right now. I think I might keep it that color. I'm not going to make it even more darker or more brighter. I mean, you can't really make them brighter, but yeah, I'm just going to keep it that way now. And um, yeah, I don't know, but something looks off. I might add a bit more shading, but I also don't want to add a lot of shading because this is how my wings look. And as you can see, they already have a lot of shading. And I kind of don't want to focus too much on the shading on these ones. But I don't know. I might just keep them that way. I don't know. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I am selling my old vest. Actually, I already sold it. But the person hasn't paid yet. So it's not confirmed. But um, if you guys want a part two of me actually like putting on the wings on the vest, um, drop a thumbs up and I will post the video. But... I mean, I don't know. I need to wait. I need to get the money first so I could buy a new Wilson's vest. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And, yeah, guys, tell me what you guys think of this. Tell me if I'm missing anything because I'm a perfectionist. And something's bothering me. I don't know what it is, but something looks off. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. And thank you guys for watching. And bye.